migrants. And then we're going to march to the Deputy Prime Minister Christian Freeland's office, and we're going to hear from three more. So are you ready to march to the beach? Get there. Yeah. Are you going to stick with us to the end? Yeah. Now, I want us to be very clear. Right now, there are people marching in Vancouver, in Edmonton, Woo. in Niagara, yeah. across the country, in Montreal, and in Ottawa, and in Sudbury. People are united with one voice to say, Stand it!
because we know this is a lie. No one is illegal. No one is illegal. No one is illegal. We are here in this historic opportunity to tell the government that together we can do it. Together we fight and we win. We can change the law. We tell the government now, what do we want? I can only bear the pain and hold my tears and have never been to the hospital once. I don't have a family doctor and I don't know if I will be treated at a hospital. Without documents, I don't know if they are going to call police on me. I didn't realize how crucial status was. After being helped by the community when the pain was beyond help, I was finally went to the hospital after a long wait. My test result indicated that I have stage 4 colon cancer. However, as I am undocumented and do not have a health card, I did not receive necessary and adequate medical care, and the hospital was intentionally delaying my treatment. They kept telling me that there were more urgent patients who needed to be treated first, and then I find out that more critical patients were the ones with status. I was not being treated equally. So I 
So I urge you all to come out today and stand with me to call on the government to grant status to everybody. We are all human beings and share the same rights. Therefore, no one should be left behind. We are the members of Butterfly. We are made up of migrant sex workers, massage workers, allies, and advocates for human rights. Many of our members have cash status and are undocumented. They make their living as sex workers and have never been recognized by society. All the migrant sex workers and massage parlor workers are stigmatized by the legal system. Sex work is work. We're not the victim of human trafficking. We're just workers. Everyone should be treated equally. These are our demands.
Prime Minister Trudeau to give to, to fulfill his promises, to give status to her. We can't keep on waiting forever. Together we win this race. And my story, I'm a single mother. I came into this country with my husband. Two months after my husband died, he died of leukemia. I've been all alone with my kids, fighting alone for their future. It's not easy to be undocumented. I tell you, it's not easy. It's now. Start us for all. We need to fight it together. Prime Minister Trudeau, give status to all. We are pleading to the government of Canada to give status to all. We can't keep on suffering and not have suffering for everyone. We are pleading. Please give status to all, please. Government of Canada, we continue pleading and we are going to win together. God by our side, we are going to win together. Enough of this suffering. Our kids' future is very important. They are the future of tomorrow. Please give status to her. We keep crying. Please listen to our cry, our tears. Please give status to her. Justice for migrant workers. People are crying. Status for her is all we want. Stop deportation. Stop the deportation for everyone. We need to leave. And here is our home. Canada is a place of refuge. And we believe Canada can save us. Canada, please, we plead. Give status to her. Status to her. Please. She will be going through the same situation over and over again until she can find a reason to stay. Do we want to find reasons to stay? We want status for all. When do we want it? No. When do we want it? No. Yes, because you've heard she's a personal support worker. She's an essential worker. She has been working during the pandemic. She works, I'm sure she works, she works more than one job to be able to put food on the table for her children. And at the end of it, what does she get? A deportation. <laughs> so what do we want now? Status for all. So friends, friends, comrades, are you getting ready to march? Yeah. Yeah.
You're going to follow the truck. Where the march is going to be led by migrant workers. There's a red banner that's going to be right behind, so please follow that. Okay? So just hold up. Get ready. Get excited. And remember, we have speeches on the other end, so you're not stopping. Okay, now it's fine.
Thank you. 